Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. His mother Mary stood at a distance, watching as his body was taken down from the cross and wrapped in a finely woven linen shroud. As the sturdy white fabric enveloped his lifeless body, she strained to look upon her son one last time. His head and body already covered by the linen shroud, all that remained visible were his once powerful and strong hands. Like a snapshot frozen in time, they revealed the intensity of the suffering that he had endured. Rigid and stiff, they now lay folded across his chest, contorted fingers clenched tight. Just above the wrists, unbearably large gashes could be seen, the place where the nails had ripped holes in his flesh. The deep, dark red of his wounds looked all the more shocking against the white of the linen shroud. Consumed with sorrow, grief, and pain, Mary turned away from the dreadful image, certain that those nails had ruined her life. Life, you see, doesn't always turn out the way you might expect. Well, just a few days before, everything had been so different. Riding confidently into town, seated on a donkey, the crowd had waved palm branches and cheered out his name. With great enthusiasm, they cheered, saying, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! The excitement, the energy, and the passion for her son was unlike anything Mary had ever seen before. For the first time in her life, she dared to believe that he might actually be the long-expected king. For the first time in her life, she dared to believe that her deepest hopes and dreams might actually come true. But then suddenly, everything changed. Jesus was betrayed, arrested, put on trial, and nailed to that terrible and horrifying cross. Her hopes and dreams now shattered. She had nothing left except the haunting image of those stiff and rigid hands, the unbearably large gashes, the deep, dark red of his wounds. Those nails, you see, had ruined her life. Life doesn't always turn out the way you might expect. You know, for you and me sitting here today, the older and older we get, the more we realize how true that statement really is. The excitement, the energy, and the wonder that we experience as children, it slowly fades away leaving you with the mundane routine of bills, work, and family obligations. As you grow up, you come to learn that the hopes and dreams of your youth never really quite seem to be fulfilled. Instead, we spend our lives thinking that if only my marriage was a little bit better, if only I could make a little more money, if only my children were a bit more successful, if only I were just a bit more attractive and thinner, then I would be happy. Then I would finally be content. But all too often, loving marriages turn cold. Exciting careers turn dull. Gifted children lose their way. And youthful bodies grow old and ache. And then, when we least expect it, tragedy strikes. Suffering, disease, and death disrupts our mundane, humdrum lives, waking us from our slumber and causing us to cry out in despair. Why, God? Why would you allow this to happen? 
Why does life always seem to be so full of sorrow and pain and hurt? These are the ultimate questions that all of us must face. But these are also the same questions that can only be understood in the light of the cross of Jesus Christ. You see, for as we will soon celebrate at the end of this Holy Week, of just a few days after Jesus died, he rose again from the dead. And he appeared to his disciples in that upper room where they had been hiding. And there with them was his mother Mary. Now, strong and full of life, Jesus raised his arms into the air, his hands open wide, inviting all to see. And incredibly, just above both wrists, the large gashes left by the nails could still be seen. But somehow, now, they looked beautiful. Filled with joy and wonder and awe, Mary stared at her son's wounds, realizing in that moment that those nails hadn't ruined her life. But instead, they had saved it. One day, when you stand before our Lord in glory, gazing upon His nail-scarred hands, you too will realize that everything you thought had ruined your life was actually used by God to save it. In that moment, every single thing that has caused you sorrow will not simply be forgotten, but instead will become for you an everlasting joy. All your cries of pain will one day be transformed into a never-ending song of praise. For now, our suffering may seem to be the undoing of everything that we have hoped for. But because Jesus bears those scars for you, through the cross, we can be confident that our present suffering will one day be transformed into everlasting joy. Life, you see, doesn't always turn out the way you might expect. Amen. Now may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen.